Good evening, an arrest made in a murder case. We have new details for you tonight. It's a story we've been following for you since it began more than a week and a half ago. But tonight we have the latest for you in a developing story. News Sense Jacqueline Bevis joins us now live in our newsroom. Jacqueline, what can you tell us? Mike Patrice, this is a case that just keeps turning. On the very same day that Shirley Moyer's family laid her to rest, the Vigo County Sheriff's Department announced an, an, an investigation and an arrest in her death. Let's get everyone up to speed on the case. Before we go any further, the Vigo County Sheriff's Office started the investigation October 27th. That's more than a week ago. That's when they were called to Shirley Moyer's mobile home where she was found dead. Moyer lived in Gaslight Estates in a home by herself, but with family nearby. Tonight, we know her accused killer also lived a few homes down. Matthew Cook, according to the probable cause, lived with Moyer's sister and Moyer's granddaughter. The report also says he was in a relationship with her granddaughter. Cook is held tonight on several felony charges, including murder. As you know, this has been a, a, a diligent, ongoing investigation uh, since we received notification of a dead body. And, um, you know, the detectives have done a great job. Uh, along with the Indiana State Police who assisted us at the crime scene uh, in bringing this arrest about. Now, as I said, Cook is held on several charges tonight, including felony murder. That's different than murder, which he's also charged with. It's because there were other felony charges in this case, including robbery. Now, a felony murder charge happens when robbery or another felony is being committed at the same time as the murder. We'll continue following this case in the coming days, and we expect to learn more also tomorrow in court. That's when Cook is expected to appear. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10. Thank you, Jacqueline. Again, the suspect will appear in court tomorrow. Tonight, he's in the Vigo County Jail without bond.